Hi, my name is Jonathan Rotz, field agronomist for Pioneer here in South Central Pennsylvania. I have a little bit of an interesting scenario here today, but I thought it was something that I can answer a somewhat commonly asked question agronomically here. I'm actually in a uh, plot that we hand plant for a trade show later on this year, and we're doing some thinning. Um, so the question that I'm I'm thinking about here is whenever we have a, a you know environmental effect or something that happens to the corn, whether that be a, a snapping or, or something happens that um, damages this corn and, and folks will ask, will it grow back? So right now we're V6 just entering V7. So the seventh collar is starting to show um, on most of these plants. And again, as we're thinning, what we're doing is we're going in and this was hand planted. So there's some places where, you know, two seeds got dropped and we're actually pulling out. The key whenever you're in a situation like this to try to decide if in fact that is going to be a terminating event, a, a uh, season ending event for that crop is to find where that growing point was. Was it above or below the damage? When we're looking at the growing point, what we want to do is we want to actually just make a slice down through the center of the plant as shown here. When we open that plant up, we're going to look for the growing point, which really kind of resembles what it is, is the tassel down within that whorl. Here you can see me opening this plant up and you can see in fact that we have that growing point above the place of damage in this place, the place of separation at soil level. This is pretty typical here because we're, you know, at that V6 point where a V6 and later we typically see that growing point. But if we had had a hail event, maybe a snapping event, something along those lines, and we were trying to see, will that plant continue? What we want to do is take maybe the part of the plant that is still attached and look for that growing point. Now, as this plant gets bigger and bigger, this growing point will continue to extend higher up. So again, you know, maybe V10, V12, we end up getting some event that, you know, like a hail storm that maybe snaps some of those tops and we go in and we look and if that growing point has been removed from that plant, that plant will die. Again, just a very quick little timely thing that I thought I'd throw out there as I was doing this uh, so that hopefully it can help answer any questions and help you with some management uh, solutions down the road. Again, hope you find this interesting and helpful, and I hope you have a great year with all of your Pioneer products. Have a great day. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.